In this video, I'll be showing how you can deepfake metahuman renders to look like different actors. This isn't for altering the metahuman model itself, just for renders if you use Unreal Engine to create movies. I'll be using a clip from one of my previous YouTube videos, featuring a metahuman character as an example. Firstly, open up DeepFace Live after downloading and installing it. Navigate to the video clip you want to use and hit play. And for me, since I already have it set up, it's instantly changing the character to Scarlett Johansson in this new window. Generally, the settings will be kept as the art out of the box, but here are mine if you want to copy them. DeepFace Live comes with a selection of actors built in renamed to presumably avoid any legal trouble, but I've put a list of who they are in the description. You can also download others, I'll provide the link and add the DFM files to the folder in your DeepFace Live install location. To save this video, click on the folder icon under Stream Output and navigate to a folder where you want it kept. I've just been using the default location. It will now populate that folder with images for each frame. You can see how many there are in there as it goes. You'll need to let it play in a loop for a bit. And you want it to match the number shown here. I've noticed it sometimes tends to miss the first few, so pause it and bring it to the start and move frame by frame and you'll see that it starts rendering those. The sequence starts at zero, so it's always one higher. So frame 1 in the rendered sequence is frame 2 in the playback. Once it has all or most of them, open up After Effects and import as a JPEG sequence. If there are any missing, it will tell you. So you can go back and go to those particular frames, plus 1 remember, to get those ones. Now you can render this scene out of After Effects or import it to Premiere Pro. Give the composition a name and also save the After Effects project. Then in Premiere Pro, import the sequence. You'll notice that it's faster than the original clip. Not sure why it does this. If anyone knows, drop a comment below. To fix this, adjust the speed, and about 80% seems to be the right speed to match the original. Also, you might notice some flickering on the face of the rendered video. Uh, this can be fixed by using the deflicker effect in DaVinci Resolve. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, and thanks for watching.